being Prime Minister's speech and supporting it. Thank you. I call Melissa Lee, five minutes. Um, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'd like to um, take the opportunity to speak uh, to our Prime Minister's statement in the House for 2016 and uh, commend that it's, I fully support his statement. We're incredibly fortunate uh, in this country, I, I think, sir, to have such a great leader in this country right. who is uh, working for families and supporting uh, the needs of ordinary New Zealanders. And I think it is well recognised that the people, people in New Zealand, the public actually also recognise that in the Prime Minister. Uh, so the great work this, uh, this side of the House is achieving can be seen through fantastic sets of policies. And I'd like to sort of kick off with, you know, this, uh, uh, the tourism um, uh, portfolio, which the Prime Minister uh, has uh, actually been uh, responsible for since 2008, sir. Um, this government has invested uh, $700 million in uh, tourism and the uh, tourism promotion. And, um, and the year ending December 2015, sir, we saw a huge uh, rise, more than 30% increase in visit international visitor spending, uh, up to $9.7 billion, not million dollars, but $9.7 billion in international visitor spending, uh, which is an increase of more than 30%, sir. I also like to talk about the uh, great achievement of our finance minister, Bill English. Uh, he got the books back in the black, and that's not small achievement, considering the fact that we've had a uh, huge global financial crisis, and New Zealand was faced with a lot of issues, including uh, you know, the Christchurch earthquakes, which devastated um, um, the economy. And uh, we recently marked the fifth anniversary. Sir, in 2015, uh, this House saw the successful completion of the free trade agreement uh, with Korea, sir, uh, my birth country, and many members have already extolled the virtues of free trade. And uh, last month, we saw the signing of the Trans-Pacific Partnership, uh, one of the biggest free trade deals uh, in the world, a deal that will bring huge benefits to all regions of this country and to many people in poverty and hardship in developing communities around New Zealand, sir. This deal... Um, so, I, I mean, it's a real shame that there are people in this house who don't actually recognize the amazing opportunity that this, this exists for New Zealanders in this real uh, deal like, uh, you know, uh, the deal that even the previous Labour government actually saw with China. The free trade agreement has actually boosted this economy. And um, I see that Honorable Phil Goff is actually sitting over there, and we know for a fact that he supports free trade. And uh, there are other members in his caucus who actually do recognize the benefit of free trade as well. So this partnership is going to revolutionize our markets and the way that New Zealand companies can engage with the global market, sir. Whether they are squash and fruit growers in the East Coast or the deer velvet suppliers in the South Island, we on this side of the house recognize uh, their need for the reduction of tariffs and an end to trade barriers when we are dealing with international markets and when we're actually selling to those markets. And I recently saw a and I actually posted on my Facebook as well, you know, cherries that are actually, you know, being sold to uh, Asia is seeing a, a, a huge uh, openness in the market. I mean, looking at Korea, for example, the tariff that they actually had, 25% is gone. 25% per, um, uh, percent tariff that they used to have is gone, and it actually means that it actually accesses the market without tariff. We will be able to also uh, send our world-class wines and other luxury goods to Japan without tariff and restri uh, restrictions, sir. We also will see many New Zealand's export to our FDA partners tariff-free, and this will greatly improve our market access in those countries and support more New Zealand industries across our country, sir. And I think free trade agreements and, you know, likes, uh, likes of our uh, career free trade and Trans-Pacific Partnership is something that we should all support and actually welcome. Um, the Prime Minister's statement also shows that um, what a fortunate nation we are to have strong leadership uh, in, in the uh, an economic opportunity this country actually has. This year, benefits for families uh, with children will increase on top of inflation. This week actually saw the minimum wage rise uh, to $15.25 an hour, so we're getting more support, um, uh, more support for after-school care and more cutting of red tape to give uh, small businesses 
the tools that they actually need. Sir, um, I, I am here to support the Prime Minister's statement, and this government is in good spirits and doing great work.